Hello. Uh, I have a new car, but it is not working. Well, it is working, but there's a lot of, that needs to be done to it to make it road legal. Um, yeah, here, I'll show you. This is my new car. It's a Holden Commodore VZ. It's all right. V6, uh, it had a body kit on it. Um, at the moment, I'm just looking at the, uh, the horn. Because it wasn't working, uh, I'll probably just have to buy new ones, one for each side. Um, another thing that I was trying to fix is uh, this, this doesn't work, uh, might just need to get a new one from either shop or a wreckers. And before you say, oh Bailey. What are you doing? Like, this doesn't have a lip on it, it looks shit. Uh, it did have a lip on it. And it, uh, it was very cracked. And so I decided to take it off, maybe fix it later. But time being, not too bad without it. Um, I'm thinking about just painting this white, make it blend in, make it blend in more. Um, yeah, this is, these screws were, I'm pretty sure, from where the lip was screwed into, but it's pretty dodgy, I reckon, like, they just fucking just made screw into here, and it's, it's not really doing anything. Okay, so, I've taken out the seats uh, because these are fucked this I need to replace and to get to those I need to take out pretty much all these seats uh, this is the first time I've ever taken out seats in a car but it's going pretty smoothly so far uh, see what it's done when they're out but anyway here's the engine it's got a cold air intake V6 um, honestly, I, I'm pretty impressed with the engine bay, it looks very clean, um, obviously it's not, it's not the newest engine, it's pretty old, it's, uh, coming on to 300,000 Ks, but, uh, it's pretty good for now, I reckon. So the seat belts were just not screwed in properly, and, uh, not actually working, so the rear seat belts on both sides are actually are fine and they will be roadworthy. The only thing I need to get done now is the horn and then it should be roadworthy. This, this is the old horn, this is the new one, um, if this doesn't work, I'm probably going to have to open up this steering wheel and figure out what's actually wrong, but hopefully this is just a fix.
Alright, so this, this is where the horn was. Uh, it's just gonna bolt on to here. Bolt on to here and then plug it there and hopefully it's just gonna work. I reckon three days, it's been three days. I got the car on Monday. I don't think I did anything on Monday though. So Tuesday, Wednesday, it's Thursday today, isn't it? Yeah, Thursday. Oh my God. Yeah. Let's quickly run through everything that needed to get done. Firstly, we had to replace this. This is broken. We went to the wreckers, got a new one, and now that works. Another thing that we did was this brake light was out, which was just, we needed to change the bulb, went to super cheap, got the bulb there. Every time we turned the car on, this antenna would not go down and it would stutter. Uh, so just to stop the stuttering noise, we unplugged that. That wasn't needed for the roadworthy, but you know, it's good to, good to not have a um, stuttering noise when you turn on the car. The, oh, the seat belts. These seat belts were all the way down there like loose like this and turns out all I needed was to loosen this for them to be retracting properly. Okay so that is everything for the Commodore done for the Roadworthy. There's still a lot that needs to be done with it in general. Um, like I'll show you the side skirts here. There's a massive hole I'm gonna have to fill up. Probably gonna use some fiberglass for that. Um, it did, I'm pretty sure I said before, it did have a lip on it. Um, uh, here's the lip. I just put it down the side of my house. And as you can see, it's got massive crack there that I'm gonna have to fix. But eventually that will go under in the front and uh, hopefully it will be looking all sweet and good. Another thing that I wanna do so that I can do a service and like change the brakes and stuff is find a uh, key for this lock nut. I don't know if you can see it, but it's not like the rest of them. It's uh, It's got like indentations and stuff. Uh, we went to the store today. They don't actually manufacture that type of nut anymore. So I'm gonna have to maybe just look around, see if I can find someone that either has it or is able to get those off. Other than that though, the car's pretty good. Um, I might take it for a clean before I get it roadworthy. It's pretty good so far. See ya Kelly, thank you for helping today. <laughs> okay, so I just tested the horn again and it stopped working. Like I tested it with and without the, the engine running, uh, nothing. So I'm gonna take the bumper off again. Hopefully it maybe just clean the connections will do it. Maybe t like putting them around the other way so they're connecting in the, the other way. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully I can fix this today. So, I don't think I'll be able to fix this today. Um, I'm probably gonna have to uh, get a mechanic to try to fix it or try to do it myself, take the steering wheel off, see if there's an issue with the button itself. Or, like, I, I feel like it might be it shorting out. Um, yeah, uh, this might take a few days. To get right. Um, I'll also try to ask the mechanic about the the lock nut, the key for the, the lock nut, because hopefully a mechanic has the tool, because they stopped manufacturing the nut, so I can't buy the, the key for it anymore, so I'm gonna have to look around, hopefully someone has it. I'm gonna just replace the lug nuts with normal ones. Yeah, that'll be it for today. See you in the next one.